Hey, everybody. I keep using that joke. I need to come up with another one. Um, for both of you who are watching out there, <laughs> this is going to be a quick dive. Um, there's no one listening anyway. It doesn't really matter. Oh, which one are you going to use? Port. Okay. Oh, I meant which manipulator. Ball should work. <laughs> Arms away. Yeah, it's good. Yeah.
Gotta switch screens on me. Yeah, no, those. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I can see it. Gorgia. <laughs> you signed up for a rough squiggle ride. Yeah, you know what <laughs> another Metallogorgia down there. Oh, another one. Quite a few. <laughs> I think that's Corallium that is in there, that white one.
happens. Come down just a little, Chris. Come down? Yeah. That's good. Did that? Yeah, or just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just meant fly like oh, a little bit closer to the floor, just so I can see the corals that were zooming over. It's coming up already pretty quick, but.
just like help call stuff out. Yeah. It's just we're flying quick, so it's all it's going fast. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a great time to learn. As fast <laughs> as you can quick. Oh wait, that's a seat back. it's close to what so that'd be unbelievable. Yeah, it was unbelievable and I just start crying away. The one you're on right now. So. Oh. What a nice big stand, uh, or a Gorgia. It's cool. All right. All right. It's like, yes. So what I usually do is I get very Gorgia, and then don't close out again, put that down to the front of the front All right, you can turn, come up slow. Should be pretty much straight uphill. Oh yeah. The ship stopping the, at the, ship the will stop at yeah okay great. Yeah, look, just for a second, if we have a minute. Let me see what this is over here. Fire a Niskin here, please. I think that's Mandrapora. Yeah. Pretty sure. Second. Sorry. Huh. Cool. Go ahead. Yep. Oh, you 
trees in that one. Sorry. There you go. Which yeah. That was number three. You guys know which there's one of the lights that's causing the wavering in the 4K. Do you know which one it is? We started in between three and four, right where we left off last time.
That's cool. Look at that coral sticking down. Oh, yeah, at the very bottom. That's, yeah, this thing's hanging down. A little coral underneath it. That's cool. size of that. It's Kralium, I think. Whoa. Can we turn the lasers on, please? Whichever. I don't know if you want to turn left or right. Is that Madripoora? That's Madripoora. That's Madripoora. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's Madripoora. This is what I've been waiting for. Holy cow. Yeah. I just took a Niskin, so we're good. Okay, awesome. We're good. Uh, that was Madripoora before, too. Did you see it? No, I didn't. There was a, it was a little one like that. Okay. But it definitely was. Whoa. This is amazing. Face. So this is... Uh, We've been waiting for this one. This is a scleractinian coral, a reef forming coral, just like in shallow water, but down here at 1300 meters at a pretty low pH and aragonite saturation state in pretty harsh conditions. This, this very old and large colony has been growing for a long time. That's great. Can you uh, turn off the lasers now, please? I'm just full of associates, brittle stars and crabs, and who knows what else. Oh, Rhinoid right there. Wow, that's amazing. Whoa. Make sure you get too close. I think you're further than I think you are. 
It's good. I'm gonna just go out real quick. Yeah, you're good. That thing is super, super fragile. Yeah, so don't run into it. <laughs> Up earlier is also very similar in coloration. Not that that really yeah, you close. can see the zigzag. Yeah. Oh, Another couple amphipods. Ooh, yeah, why not? Yeah. That's great. Oh, not right now. Hold on a second. Can you back off of this before you walk away just in case it takes off? That's good. Yeah. Thanks. It's coming back in. <laughs> that is awesome. Come around and check out the other side. You can see most of the like polyps are all over there. Wow. Oh, didn't mean to do that so quickly. All right, we can keep we can keep coming up. This is spectacular, but pretty awesome. Look at that. Can you kill the light, the like the flood in front? Maybe another one. Keeps irising up. Stop doing that. There we go. Ah, that's good. There we go. All right. One more minute. <laughs> I'd rather miss the summit and spend a second here. This is, uh, we haven't seen this yet. This is, we've been waiting for one of these. Look at all the brittle Look at this stars on there. Crazy branch. I know, it's so big. Look at the base. Yeah, the knob and the two does. bases. It's probably two yeah, different two colonies, colonies that grew together. That is amazing. There's shrimp in there. I didn't see him before. Another one. Look how it's attached. It seems to attach itself. Yeah. Anastomosing. That's not that's called. Yeah. When you branch back onto yourself and fuse together. Uh that is a good question. These grow very differently than all the big sea fans that we were looking at. So um based on that base down there, uh I I don't know, it's a, definitely up in the thousands. Yeah, easy. I'm tempted to go higher than that, but it'd be a little conservative. It could, it could be. We're deep. It's 1,300 meters. They grow very slow. 
and look at that. Yeah, yeah, I think it's two. You can see sort of two different attachment points right there. Maybe three. And that base just takes forever to grow. There's an, uh, wow. Uh, a lot of them are. They're just, they're pretty tiny. You see the little, like, pinkish orange in there? Some of them are, most of them are closed up, but I, there are a couple were that were sticking when out. Came in. Yeah. These will just keep growing and growing. There's, we've dated some of the reefs in the Gulf of Mexico at 300,000 years. The reef is, not the same, not the one live coral, but. And even some of the, it's sort of, uh, it's erosional, so it's not like building up real fast. And some of the dead coral right at the surface is 46,000 years old. So that's why I'm saying, you know, this, I'm, I'm gonna stick with thousands, but something like this, I really, you know, I don't know, could be, could be way up there. Awesome. No, this is good. <laughs> Part ways. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. All right, one more, one more flyby. Beautiful. Oh, we need taste. We need a Kiribati name. He can translate. He can. See that? It's unbelievable. Big Poppy. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. Alexis has been dying for one of those. Wow. She's asking for this too. I am. So these big. The Ritagorgia. Let's wait. I wanna. There are tons no, of I them. Know, I don't feel bad about. I also think that might. I want an associate. Yeah. Rodano? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. yeah. it's not quite so. All right. Spiral. All right. It's more I'll give it to you. It's <laughs> another. Yeah. There is yeah. 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 You can do that. Uh. I am Eric Cortez. I'm the chief scientist on the cruise, a professor at Temple University. I work on deep sea corals, so I am just blown away right now. This is what we like to call face melting. Uh, we got just massive, massive old corals on vertical walls. I love this. Exploring the uh, deep corals of the Phoenix Islands protected area. And this is why they're protected. We'll go around science and then uh, the I'm Alexis Weinick. I am also at Temple University. I work in Eric's lab as a grad student um, out here experiencing this amazingness. Next up on the science team. Oh, sorry. Uh, hi. Uh, yes, I'm uh, Tim Shank. I'm a scientist at the, uh, in the biology department at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. I don't know why you're laughing. I'm not laughing. But um, my interests on this cruise are really the, the uh, diversity of fauna that live on the corals and with the corals. So it's exciting to see these uh, big stands of corals here, all these large rocks. This is, uh, I saw it in the monitor outside the lab and uh, ran in here to, uh, <laughs> to get a closer look and better look. I saw it in the mess, and I was like, I gotta get it too. 
<laughs> no. Hi, I'm Randy Rogen. I'm a professor um, in the Department of Biology at Boston University, and I'm also the chief scientist of the Phoenix Islands Protected Area. And that is so cool. Yeah, that's good. That's not as much as that. It's a smaller. I don't think. Yeah, I think it's a whole thorium. <laughs> You're gonna freak out over a sea cucumber? I like sea cucumbers too. I just want to see you freak out. Those are the flying ones. I just want to see you freak out. I think I just did too. That was amazing. Those. Oh my God. That Jordana Redigordia is like looked like it was over a meter tall. Oh yeah, that was nice. That Madripoora is like a meter wide. Did you guys measure it? We had the lasers on it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. It's awesome. Some of the sclerotinians, um, we don't have a lot of, uh, radial growth rates. We've done that a little bit, but they don't lay down good rings like some of the octocoral, the big trees, so it's a little, uh, a little harder to do. All right. Hello. Hello, I'm uh, Cody Perez. I'm one of the ROV pilots on board Falcor. It's piloting ROV Sebastian. I am from Katy, Texas. Hey there, I'm Adam Wetmore. I'm the co-pilot right now, and I'm from uh, beautiful British Columbia. Hey guys, I'm Dean Glazebrook. I'm the uh, ROV supervisor on board here tonight for Sebastian, uh, and I am uh, currently residing in Ottawa, Canada. How you doing? My name is John Fulmer, one of the marine technicians aboard here, and I am from Nova Scotia, also in Canada. A lot of Canadians today. <laughs> Hello, I'm Chris Ingram. I'm a ROV pilot tech here on board, and I am from Neptune Beach, Florida. Hi, I'm uh, Daniel Vogt, research engineer at, um, for the Wies Institute in Harvard University. How's it going? Uh, I'm Luke McCartan. I work with uh, Tim Shank in the biology department at Huey. Um, we're interested in corals and the animals that live on them. Where are you from? Oh, yeah, don't you tell me where you're from? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Abby Keller. I'm fo I work in Air Cordes' lab at Temple. I'm a research assistant, and I'm focused on water chemistry here. Yeah, I think it's hard. Introduction. Okay. Gotta do it in English and Kiribati. Hi, uh, Randy Stekio from Fisheries uh, Government uh, of Kiribati on board the uh, Falcor as an observer. Uh, Randa Maori, uh, Arawa Randy Stekio, uh, Fisheries, Nidanaya. I'm in the Botagan Maguri, the fishery, the fisheries, marine resource development. Alright, alright. Alright. That was awesome, we got the whole gang.
Oh, that other fish is right in our lights. Whoa. It does. A giant sequoia. <laughs> Big sea pen right there. Panachula. Oh, you know what? We don't have Anthemastus yet, do we? Um, see this no, guy over here? Do you see one? I do. Uh, Daniel. Yeah. Would you care to debut? Time to shine. Squishy fingers. Give us a shot. Yeah. This okay. is uh, a soft coral. This is Anthemastus, the genus. Mushroom coral. This is uh, near and dear to my heart. So don't hurt him. Okay. <laughs> we'll just give him a nice hug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're gonna uh, debut at this depth, 1280 meters. The uh, squishy finger sampling device for this delicate coral. I'm gonna let Daniel take it away and explain. Okay. You want know, to you want to tell them what we're doing while we set up? Hi everybody, this is Daniel Vogt. Um So right now we're going to try a new kind of soft gripper to pick up what we see down below. There's a sea cucumber. Uh, no, no, next to it. It's next to it? called a mushroom coral. Mushroom coral. Okay. And the reason why we're going to try with this new soft actuator is that it gives the possibility to pick it up without damaging it. It's going to gently surround it and um, hopefully not apply too much pressure uh, and let us uh, put it back in the basket without damaging it. This is the first time we're going to try this manipulator on the, this deep sea robot, Sebastian, and we're going to see how well it works. No, the one on the left. Yeah. Is it well anchored? Yeah, well, it's not. It should come up. They're not super well anchored. It's attached to the rock. But so I guess we can just come normal to the rock around it. Yep. Pick it up. Yep. Straight away. It should come up. If that doesn't work, you could, um, it's got a stock under it. Uh -huh. So you could go around like that, and then, then if you pull up, it'll be, you know. So to come from the side with yep. the fingers? You could. Okay. But I think the first the first yeah, try from, try from the top probably, first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is really cool. I haven't uh, seen some video of these being tried out, but uh, never seen it in action. We've been eagerly anticipating doing a little bit of troubleshooting, but now it looks like we're good to go. That big sea cucumber. <laughs> Oh, 
I wasn't taking notes, I was too blown away. <laughs> So this, All right. Yeah, go ahead. This is the debut of Squishy Fingers on this cruise. This is awesome. So we have a couple of potential targets, but we are starting here with Anthemastus, which is, or is it Pseudo-Anthemastus? I think it's no, that's straight Anthemastus. Straight up Anthemastus? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, which Eric is an expert on. He did a master's thesis on this, so I'm here straight from him. But Squishy Fingers is a soft robotics manipulator um, that should be able to hopefully grab this coral and um, we'll see without it causing any damage and um, should be able to manipulate softer things that would be really challenging to pick up with um, some of these harder claws of the ROV. We've already had to, um, we've looked at a couple of samples and just said, you know, there's really no way to do it with the claws that are there, even though we have the most amazing ROV pilots on the planet. <laughs> sometimes just the machinery itself has limitations. And so we're looking to see here if this 
but technology Ooh, can yeah, yeah. Um, bring a new dimension to deep sea sampling. Oh, it's going to give it a hug. <laughs> okay, go ahead. It's closing up just like the fingers. Yeah, that's true. This is a very exciting moment, everybody in the control room. I wish you guys could see this. It's like eyes glued to one of our 37 screens just watching this. <laughs> watching this manipulator work. It's There's several incredible feats of engineering here. First, that this manipulator can withstand the pressure, you know, and Daniel can speak to this much more eloquently, I'm sure. But second is that you know he's able to communicate with it here in this control room amidst the other technology that already exists all over this ROV, this is sort of a retrofitted piece. And, you know, third, that you know, this is going to have the ability to um, really manipulate samples uh, in a com with a completely different functionality and a different interface, a different texture. Um, looks great. By the way, anthemastis are called mushroom corals, and I think you can really see why in this particular view with them all closed. So we've just made the decision to try the Holothurian, or sea cucumber, which actually is a great um, target for this for two reasons. One, for sort of the way we're set up on it, it's just a really good positioning for this. And second is because they, they are super squishy, so if anything is going to pick up a squishy thing, it should be squishy fingers. You can see the sea cucumbers poop up there. Little, sure can. Thing. They're good. Uh, Bioturbators actually see him eating right now. Little does he know, they he's about to get a <laughs> dinner and a hug. show. He's gonna get a ride. Gentle hug. There's a movie that's up on our, um, I think it's on our YouTube page and on our cruise page with Schmidt Ocean Institute of these manipulators picking up an egg. It's called the Egg Experiment, and uh, it worked beautifully. It was a raw egg, by the way, for those of you wondering. Not a hard boiled egg. Right, okay, closing. So, we only pick up food related things eggs and cucumbers. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You know if this works? Wow. Wow. I love how unfazed the cucumber is. It's a good sign. Feel different than those. Ooh, nice. So you can see the squishy finger sort of make contact with the substrate and bend. Flex perfectly around the sea cucumber. This is where robotics meets biology. It's awesome. Yeah, literally. I 
Hello, robotics. Hello, biology. Is that closed now? Yeah, it's still closed. We have squishy fingers with a sticky cucumber. It's like uh, All right. <coughs> cucumber one. Ah, uh, they're gonna give it another shot. Trying to go side to side, maybe. Yeah, the egg doesn't quite have the uh, stickiness. We should have tried a Velcro egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the actuators are capable of lifting that thing up. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Perfect for it. Yes, what the yeah. Aww. Yeah. Uh, Alright. I'm afraid we're gonna have to move on. But the squishy fingers do actuate, right? They work. It's they cool. work. And they were able to give the sea cucumber a hug and um, party yeah. on the dance floor. <laughs> This actuator has uh, these squishy fingers have um, hugged two things today. I'll let you do it. Oh, that's cool. You got it. You got it. <laughs> We're both trying to drive the camera at the same time. I forgot. That was Pilot. You see the swimming crane right in the background? Kofi. Canadian. Have a lot of force at the fingertips. Exactly. So 
So, you know, there's so many creatures in the bottom of the seafloor that are soft-bodied that, you know, the, the success we've had today actually is really tremendous. The fact that this was able to successfully grip a sea cucumber and an anthemastis, <laughs> the sticky factor aside, the squishy factor was really good. I don't see any damage or harm to either one of these animals. I don't see any scrapes or cuts or bruises. And I'm an expert on bruises on this trip. I've had a huge one. <laughs> and, uh, Really, those and, stairs uh, are pretty unforgiving. Uh, ooh, kind of rocking. Uh, boat. Yeah, it well, it wasn't even rocking at the time. <laughs> 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 I, know. I know, I know. I'm just way too honest. Um, but uh, I really think that um, we got a little foiled by the stickiness, but not by the squishiness. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about we'll what just back. happened here. We'll be back yeah. with anti-stick options for yeah, you um, know, ultimate nice squish. Gonna, yeah, this is it. Gonna 3D print some fingertips, I think. Be the next iteration. Yep. I see some changes I can do. From yeah. This. this is awesome. He's so learned. He's adapting. So Daniel has a 3D printer on board. Um, two of them actually, and he. I've already he, made all sorts of useful <laughs> kind parts. Kind of amazing. We replaced the nozzle one of our Niskin models. Yeah. That was pretty impressive. We're never going anywhere without an engineer with a 3D printer again. It's pretty awesome. Some little caps. And <laughs> some of the stuff on the drone pilot as well. Oh, yeah. Very versatile. He is versatile. Drone pilot, pilot, uh, pilot. The, you drone know, all the, the drone footage has been just amazing. It's so cool. One of my island surveys. Island surveys. Yeah, it's true. Right. It's been science, actually. It's true. Um, Sciencing with it. Who's sciencing? Is it a cup coil? Yep. Hi. <laughs> Where's our squiddlers at? I got it. Um, <coughs> the and cucumber. one of my favorite things about the drone technology so actually is we've used it to look at a bird island. So we had a yeah. bird looking at the drone while the drone was looking at the isle of birds, and then the we have the so we have a bird drone interaction, and then we have the sub looking at the deep sea floor. I mean, this whole thing is the, really the interface of biology and technology, and it's just been on every level. It's been awesome. When you think of natural history, you don't often think of 37 screens and a million, yeah. mil <laughs> a million machines, but in this case, it's the only way it's done. It's awesome. There's another uh, Rodana Ritigordia down there. Developing new techniques and new tools in the deep sea. Absolutely. The Metallogorgia. Oh, that was perfect. We were climbing up this big hill just as the ship took a roll. It felt wow. like we were in it, like really <laughs> immersed. It's you where you are. It's being through you forget you're at sea. It's true. It's Except, sort of. I mean, we're just seeing what everyone's seeing at home. It's a octopus party. Oh, Ooh, whoa. Uh, uh, oh, it's so windy. <laughs> he's fine, he's fine. Look away. <laughs> and look. Aridagorgia. Aridagorgia. Look at those paramaricia, everybody. <laughs> I was going to say. I was like, Can I I mean, we could, we could, we could have tried squishy fingers. All good. Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, great. Mystery. Sorry, everybody. He, he might follow us uh, he, if he I'm wants sorry. to. He wants to see yeah, where it is. You never know. You never know. Yeah, we'll be perfect. we'll be uh, posting some highlights of that Dumbo octopus that we just saw. It was pretty spectacular. Uh, yeah, okay. Awesome. I, mean, I think that's <laughs> the biggest <laughs> the biggest Dumbo I've ever seen. How small are they usually? They're usually little, like, oh. like that, like, uh, yeah, right. you know, no one can see my hands. They're like, I don't know, maybe six inches or something. Okay. Yeah, we have like a very well, short dash cool. here. A little smaller than a volleyball? 
uh, on a seamount that uh, we just mapped this afternoon and uh, came across some magnificent structures on the seafloor. There's really high relief, uh, sort of pinnacle-like structures that have had great big corals on them, madrepore corals. Um, uh, thanks. Um, and we just came across a, a Dumbo octopus, we call it. It's a serrate octopus. It means it has fins that are modified and they are uh, for swimming. And uh, we see these once in a while. They're sort of rare. Um, and uh, they're really exciting. A couple years ago, we, we started, we discovered how they lay their eggs. They actually put their eggs on soft corals uh, in the deep sea. And they, they put one egg on a given coral in certain species. And uh, we would find these eggs laid down on these corals, like the Easter Bunny with hot eggs uh, in the front yard. Uh, it was pretty amazing to see this. And um, Grimpa Toothus was the name of the, the one we came up with in the Atlantic. And so I'm not sure what this one was. I do know that the ones that have been collected from around the world has been very few, and many of those were in the Paris Museum, and they certainly have dissolved by now. There was just a couple of fins left from those guys from collections, and so they're very rare to have. Um, but anyway, it was a tr total treat to see it here at about uh, 1,200 meters on the seamount. It's fantastic. <coughs> It's also the uh, third Dumbo octopus to be observed in the Phoenix Islands protected area, at least. At there might be even more than that, really? but there was a really yes. old and ancient one discovered on the Okeanos cruise, and you, there was one seen earlier this cruise already, right? Yep. But this was this was the most spectacular go. flying, just a so really good behavioral display in a really stunning canyon setting with a stage. I mean, you come know, on. It makes us think that we should be looking inside the Chrysogorgia corals for some of those uh, octopus eggs. Yeah. See before. So we see little yeah. golf ball sized, sort of olive covered, <coughs> colored things. Um, maybe a, a, an egg of a Dumbo octopus. We saw, we thought we saw, remember yesterday we saw something that looked kind of. We thought we saw like a little ball yeah, exactly. inside. Yeah, exactly. We just didn't want to disturb it, but it looked, so alert to it looked that. really, uh, it looked because very uh, octopus egg like. Yeah. And look, my, how quickly the landscape has changed from those really steep relief canyons to here we are. Um, wow. On a sandy plain. Looking for more. Did about squishy fingers when you saw the Dumbo? No. <laughs> ah, <laughs> we should have. Grab an arm, shake hands. Put it to uh, one of the doorways. Find out. That's really great. Yep. That was awesome. What is that right there? A rock. But you see, there's some tracks in the sand. I don't know what they are. Do you have any idea? Could be an urchin. Exactly. Gastropods sometimes wow. I haven't wow, seen really. too many tripod fish on the sandy substrate here. Mm, well, it's yeah, a little unusual. Right. I've, I, I sort sometimes of you get a different suite of fish species that come out when they come over sand. It's interesting. Tripod being one of those. There's a couple of black things or dark things here. I don't know what they are. Just, I'm going to call them. You, 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 you don't mean the rocks. You mean the other forward. stuff. I mean, no, I mean these dark things right here. No, it, those are just sort of outcrops. Oh, I see. They're just ledges of... Uh, yeah, I think they're just sort of like exactly yeah, sand that's right. kind of slid just and so it has over. a different... Exactly. That's yeah, so it has a different just, coloration. But the, those little those little exposed areas are yes. little islands for things like... Right, yeah, all, and they're... The margin, sure like, enough. <laughs> Ooh, here it is. Do you want to sit? No, no, no. I'm, are you sure? I just came in for the Dumbo. You're almost done. I just came for the Dumbo. You just came for the Dumbo. No, <laughs> like, you, know, you sit down, sit down. There's a whole line of there, right? Oh, it's like Jeff, <laughs> or what is it? What, no, were, you? what no. were you? What is, is it? that how it is? Dean Martin and what was Steve yeah. Martin. Yeah, yeah. Steve, Steve Martin. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> and is that Steve you? Martin. And <laughs> he jumps up and walks out. Yeah, that's all you. Sorry, you guys. Sediment and crime. I gotta go. Do you want to sit down too? What's like? that? What did you say? Come <laughs> 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 That's great. He's laughing it's all so hard yours. because oh, it's, all it's yours. true. <laughs> 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 There's a Dumbo. I'm, I'm out of here, guys. Take you care. leave it on a high note. That's it. That's I always leave on a high note. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> coming in for the perfect moment. Oh, man. That's it. Just <laughs> Look what he leaves us to narrate. I mean, I mean, Cody comes up with 30 meters off the sea floor. And, <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. There you go, There's some crying noise. Find something to say about this. Oh, no, look. It's a... Uh, sea pen. Oh, no, it's not. Sea pen. Crinoids. Is that a shark? Oh, Could that be a shark? No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, Eric just got interested again. Yeah, that would have been Did awesome. you hear about our hagfish yesterday? Oh, you saw a hagfish? You did see a hagfish. Nice. I like hagfish. Oh, wait, I hate hagfish. What am I talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? It's cool that you saw one, but not yeah. a big fan. No. 
They're gross. It's not like they're a Dumbo really octopus or anything. I saw one fill a five <laughs> gallon bucket with slime they in about are, ten are, minutes. They're, they're, they're disgusting, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they really are. Beautifully disgusting. Snap a bracket heel. And a crinoid forest. Little Tim and Ray are narrating again. We get to see. This is exciting. Crinoid stuff. There's a rock. Look, there's a rock. Guess we're all fresh out of Dumbo's right now. Tim, you are on fire right now. Oh, Tim, you're so good. Steve Martin. <laughs> and his lamp? <laughs> yeah. He has a lamp? Oh, yeah, did you right. see the jerk? And the Murray the jerk. Yeah, he's like, lamp. you took it all I need is his lamp. This lamp. My dog. <laughs> and this book. Oh, and my gosh. blanket. <laughs> and this lamp. <laughs> I missed oh, look, that one. Sediments. Oh, look, there's another Dumbo <laughs> octopus down there. Oh, oh. Uh, Let's wait until Eric leaves the room yeah. and then we'll zoom in. Yeah. Nah, no. <laughs> Don't you want to see the summit of the mountain? Hey, is that predation right there? Oh, oh it sure is. Let's take a look at that, Cody. Somebody's paying Somebody's attention. Watching. <laughs> you guys are joking around. I only see crinoids. Yeah, we got 15 <laughs> Oh, it's the same kind of star, isn't okay. it? I think they can swoop in. Look at this. Swoop in and sample. The, well, there's the not grab a, and go, the old grab and go. There's not a, uh, well, and that's not a pair. He's that's up for it. That's oh, you want the corals it. clean. No, yeah. we're going for it. We don't have this coral out there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> what is that in that crinoid? It's, it's, is that a crinoid? it's no, no, I think those are branches. The That's the branch structure. <laughs> I'm not gonna zoom in. We don't have one getting eaten, eaten though, do we? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Should we try to sample it with? Just watch, they're, they're fast. They're all over this. Oh, it's squishy. Oh, no, 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 we got it. <clears throat> Just a quick one. Did you fire any niskins on this table? Yep. Okay. When we saw our first coral. Did you go and buy the madripoor? I got one. There was madripoor before it. There was a small madripoor mm. before it, and I fired one there. Is there anything else? It was, at, uh, it was the deepest we've seen, actually. Uh, 1345. Really? This made it into your notes? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, we were trying yeah. to come up with our exactly what you call it when you're uh, squiddling, tweeting, and slacking at the same time. And gramming? No, not... No, we didn't, there was no, no gramming. Was, you know, gramming sort of passe now. Squiddle act. Squiddle act. Yeah, yeah, it's important. <coughs> you got a picture of that Dumbo octopus, right? You no. You squiddle act that. I thought you got one. I, yeah, of course I did. Squiddle act Of course that. I did. I will squiddle act that. Did you... We should you gotta, put it, gotta put it on a squiddle in there. All right. You gotta, then, then you gotta squiddle it first. <laughs> hey, look at all the little stars. Then you slack it to everybody on the cruise. That oh, that's cool. Including right. Steve, who's watching from home. And all then right. you all tweet right. about your slack. Yeah. And that's squiddle act. Can you sample that right you side? Uh, so we're gonna decide right everything here. Everything that you need, I think. Yeah, we want to get the, the big sea star, right? All right. Okay. A lot of little guys look black. What do you think, Aaron? Yeah. What else is on yep, here? Right there. You want slack first, right? That's what you wanted? Are you going to watch it? No, you take a picture of them. I did. I'm putting them. Yeah, then you slack it. The order of operations is important. Oh. You twist? Yeah. There it goes. All right. It should, it should be on slack. A little crinoid on there, too. Oh, Great. And an Coming out. You don't have your. You got it. Yeah. You got his leg. Great. Did you get the slack? Did it work? Tim, is there a on there as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I saw one. And then crinoid? I don't know. I think that crinoid taste might have fallen. Oh, it did. You're right. We lost it. Uh, There's not something connected. there, right?
You got the camera? It's on the edge. You see it? And my connectivity just timed out. Just wait. It's got it. Got it. Good job. Well Great. done. Good job. That was awesome. Woohoo! What'd you, what'd you call that? Alexis. Alexis. <laughs> what'd you call that? Uh, Norella. Yeah, and then what number? Uh, 113, 114, and 115. Okay, I am posting pictures of the Dumbo Octopus right now to the Phoenix Islands Protected Area page. So you can go there and check that out. Nice job. Really nice. That was quick. That whole thing took about three minutes, four minutes. That was awesome. I don't know. Oh, man. I can't believe he flew it right into the bio box. It's a totally crazy awesome. Crazy move. Those lids are actually. Yeah. We've had sharks. Out of all the things. <clears throat> what depth are we at? Mm -hmm. 1133? I, mean, I, I would like. I mean, why does nobody sick whale? Yeah, why does everybody pick shark? Yeah, Rick and Samoa, it's fine. Yeah, and just say no hi. <laughs> see, see, that, see the Chrysogorp? Paracrabs. And then. All the Paramaricias, too. Paracrabs. There's a cool lot of them. Rock. There's like 10. That's a great rock. If you guys want to snap them real quick, we got the boat speed up here. <laughs> okay. What do you want? I don't know. What's our priority here? Whale. Oh, we don't have Ritagorgia. <laughs> we don't? We have one. We do, well, not from this here. is Rodana Ritagorgia. We don't have that. We don't know, but I would. We don't know. We're going to find out. You want to go for it? That's so, the last uh, I'd wager money. Metallic Orchard. Shave the top off of that big curly guy. <laughs> Give it a haircut. Just a trim. A haircut. Just a trim. Um. No associates, huh? No. Not on that one. The last one had something. Just a little off. Gotta really zoom in anyway. There's a, I just love this landscape. I don't want to leave. Look how pretty it is. These vistas are fantastic. It's like a touch tank. Okay. Oh, I did not successfully speed a lac. Let's try this again. The internet didn't make it go up to uh, the Twitter feed. Let's try again. So we're gonna say. There we go. Yes. Coming this way. Come on. Top. Yeah, top roll. Yes. Just the top roll. This again to me is more wavy than whirly, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So it's a rush. Rodan. We'll see. Sometimes we see bare skeletons with a little bit of good particles on it. We see shrimp on these guys. And every once in a while, a gastrotychus crab. I'm not seeing anything right now. Now I think of Squeedle Act. Yeesh. Love that lid. I know, it's awesome. Is that not typical? No. It's so much faster. Maybe it's a before. Normally we have uh, The arms have to pick it up? No, there's a, usually there's a bungee cord that comes over to a, a bolt or something, and then you have to go and grab the bungee off and bring it on top. Yeah, I remember seeing that in the piano. And then you have to go and grab the bucket and open it up. You know, <laughs> this is just hands-free. Uh, Opening the lid is pretty nice. Super fantastic. It really saves a lot of time, I think. I mean, these guys are quick. The thing here is that 
doesn't want to be driving backwards when we're driving forwards with anything. I think. It's going to be even driving up, right? He's going to have to let go of this. And this pawn is sort of going to go up a little bit. Anywhere in there is good, right? Yeah. Open. Yeah, we'll this. Come up and go forward. Right. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Seventeen? Seventeen. Sixteen. Sixteen? That was thirteen. I thought the star was... Anyway, okay. Never mind. The last one was thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Got it. Uh-oh. at the very beginning of, by the uh, Eritic Orgio that we saw, right, right at the very start. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So I we should be, a, we can, yeah. we'll find yeah. it. Can we put a marker at the end of this, too? Yeah. I'd really like to walk away with the marker. What? All right. This is a great transect. Yeah. I think we should do it again sometime. Don't you think? Yeah. 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 So we'll do it tomorrow. Are we still in front of where that was sampled from, or no? Why? Yeah. Because yeah. 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 there was a so, white so, coral so, that I wanted to take a zoom on, but if we are gone, then Yeah, I'm not sure how far we traveled. What you say? Yeah, I don't know. There was a white I don't think so, Alexis. We're done. We're done. We got two minutes. Okay. I heard white coral. Yep. That's where you were, right? Oh yeah, here we are, Alexis. We have a. Uh, here. Here. Right here. Can we zoom on that? Yeah. Me when you're ready, Cody. That is a white plexorid that we have not sampled. Oh, a homolo crab with it. Oh, yeah, no. cool. It always happens. You can't take it. You can't help. Come on, Dad. <coughs> Alright. Come on, Dad. Yay! Woohoo! Look at Alexis do her happy dance. <laughs> it's got an associate, too. It does. <laughs> good spot. That was good. Yeah, it's alright. No, you're fine. Come out. Is there a prize for the best spots in the Best, best spotter? Best I don't player. know. Yeah. There is? It's For all, sure. It's all Great. glory. It's Personal pride. satisfaction, I think. Yeah. Well, no glory. spot, no sample on that one. I think she gets, I think the, the spot is the, the prize. Yeah. That's right. <clears throat> Look at that. It's great. Whoa, is it turning yellow halfway up? Uh, there's a yellow there. There is a yellow bit, yeah. Right you know what's interesting? Are these the same species side by side? Could be. I, One's just white. Can we, before we sample this, can we get a good image of both of them? It's really interesting. You're getting it. I mean, a zoom. Which one do you want? Both. Pick one, Before then go to the other. Lights go out. Why would the lights go out? Never know. <laughs> get Tim. it you can get it. All right. Cool. Thank you. All right. That's what I wanted. Okay. Can we go Is pan left? Can we, uh, yes. Get some grabs of that. Somebody's popping. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Go. Okay. Ready? Yep. Coming out. Yep. Coming out. There's more than one. See, there's little yellow ones over there, too. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> a lot of time. Okay, because here's my question to you, Tim. If those are zoanthids overgrowing this white coral, but it has the same ophroid, is it obligate, is it facultative, and does it switch right, if you have a different right. species? Feel free to discuss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go over the other one. Thank you. You got a sample. 
Oh, you didn't zoom in the polyps. All right, whatever. We have to go. I know, I know. We're bringing these up. Not the left one. I know, it's 4K. You can zoom in and there's a frame grab. <laughs> we got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's see it. What are we grabbing here? How big is it? We're over time. I gotta come up. Yeah. Okay. No? Do you want the? It's way whatever too much. Do you want the whole thing or just part of it? Whatever we can get. Whatever they get. I don't know. There'll be an easier. I want to see, yeah. see, see, see the claw on it. This one. He's got the camera. On. You can or can't? <coughs> What's do you want you do want the whole thing or you don't? Of course I'd like to have the associate needs the opportunity to get the pair, right? So yeah, we'd like to get it. There's no lasers there, so I don't know how I know, I have no sense of this. Tell me whether we can just go in and get the whole thing or not. It is sort of deep down inside the the coral, but it's pretty small I don't think actually. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. It's pretty small. Pretty pretty. Pretty cool. No, that's right. I love that cat. It's really small. I'm starting my photo essay of you. That great swimming oh, that crinoid. So oh, cute. Oh, Coming out. oh wow, look at that. He's got it. So perfect. Right, great. Right, it is so great, Tim. Great. Well, well, well done. All right, well, I hate to do it, but I guess oh, yeah. it. is it time awesome. to wrap up? That was the best part anyway. There was nothing up at the top. Eric! How many more waypoints do we have? Thanks, Yeah. Uh, we just yeah, skipped yeah, on really uh, just the top, really. Yeah, it's going to take leaving island where we were yesterday and this dive is so spectacular really diversity but i would say we also had squishy to leave the sea floor on this one but it was awesome the next All one right. will be just as good it will be so tune in and uh yeah. we'll see you then I'll pour it out.